To gain deeper insight into the changes the HI virus undergoes during its replication, the research group of Cell Networks member Barbara Müller at the Department of Infectious Diseases of the Heidelberg University Hospital studies the dynamic events that govern the interaction between the virus and its host cell. Not an easy task, as numerous viruses interact with a single host cell, and each virus follows its own schedule. In order to understand the individual replication steps, the scientists therefore need to observe single viruses closely during their journey through the cell. But HIV particles are so small that they're invisible in conventional light microscopes. Snapshots of the virus can be taken with an electron microscope, but the particles have to be chemically fixed or frozen. The result? Information on dynamic changes is lost. Only advanced fluorescence microscopy, like novel super-resolution microscopy techniques and multicolor live cell imaging, allow us to directly observe nanoscale processes in real time. The Müller Group wants to visualize crucial events of the individual virus particles. For example, how the protease during maturation is triggered at the right time, and how the dramatic structural changes during this process are organized. To achieve optimum results, they develop strategies to attach different fluorescent labels to different parts of the virus. It's not easy to do that without destroying its tiny structure, but it is worth the effort. The new labeling techniques open fundamentally new possibilities to study virus-cell interactions at different stages of the replication cycle. A door has opened to address questions that could not be answered with conventional virological methods.